from this wreckage, one survivor. George Lampson Jr. was in row six of Galaxy Airlines Flight 203 when it took off from Reno in January 1985. We started falling down from the sky and the pilot told us we we're going to crash. 70 people died. An open small access door caused the vibration. The pilots were distracted, trying to identify the problem. They ignored their speed and altitude. I remember feeling angry and survivor's guilt. Why didn't my brother survive? Why didn't anybody, you know, why me? Cecilia Sheehan is the sole survivor of Northwest Flight 255. August 1987, the plane struggled into the air with 155 people on board. Within seconds, it hit a light pole, a building, and disintegrated as it slid onto a road. We picked up the chair, and underneath it was uh, little Cecilia, the survivor. Investigators say the pilots didn't set the plane's wing flaps and slats to give it lift. An alarm should have gone off, but it didn't. Fast forward 22 years and another young girl, 14-year-old Baya Bakari, survives this watery crash. I remember the plane started to descend and they told us to fasten our seatbelts because we were crashing. The Yemenia Airlines plane plunged into the ocean 10 miles from the airport near the Comoros Islands. I saw fragments and decided to swim and hang on. French investigators say the pilots were distracted, didn't follow procedures, and stalled the plane. And in 2006, Comair Flight 5191 crashed just after takeoff in Lexington, Kentucky. The sole survivor, one of the pilots flying the plane. I've cried harder than any man has ever cried. NTSB investigators say the crew made a wrong turn and took off from the wrong runway, which was far too short. 49 people died. I'm not doing something and I'm not involved with an activity. My mind goes back to August 27, 2006, because there are a lot of why questions that are not answered. A constant struggle with haunting unanswered questions. It's the consequence of being a sole survivor.